Welcome back to another weekly vlog. I am on Struggle Street today. I am in my ovulation phase and today the pain is just pretty much unbearable. <laughs> I've taken all my pain medication, I've got my TENS machine on and I'm just trying to rest as much as possible. Easton is pretty much just being looked after by his grandparents today because I cannot function very well so yeah really sharp pains um and just yeah a lots and lots of pain today so taking it easy i do have my post-op appointment tomorrow which i'm so excited for other than that i've been healing really well it's just these phases of like ovulation and period where i'm getting a lot of pain it can take up to a good three months to feel the effects of the surgery so this pain is all a part of the process and I've just continuously reminding myself of that but yeah that's just a quick little update for today I probably won't feel much because yeah I am in a lot of pain so I'm just going to try and rest as sorry sharp pain as much as I can today I am also officially four weeks post-op, so I'm technically cleared to drive today, but I just, I'm obviously not gonna drive in this state. Um, so yeah, officially four weeks post-op, I can hopefully start picking up Eastern again in two weeks. So still not really lifting anything over four to five kilos. But yeah, slowly starting to get that proper mobility back in terms of picking up things and all that and I will also start work again on Saturday if all goes well and I'm not in too much pain I will start work again on Saturday so two days time two sleeps away <laughs> I'm excited um, but yeah a little bit nervous as well hello guys I have managed to somewhat pull myself together I'm still in pain and a little bit drowsy hey, from yeah. the pain medication but I've pulled myself together somewhat to go to the shop because I really want to buy my surgeon and um, his receptionist a present to say thank you for everything that they've done for me. So yes, I'm going to do it. <laughs> it's just going to be hopefully a quick trip to the shops and then definitely back home to rest because I ain't feeling too good. <laughs> Very comfortable outfit. Hello guys, we are back from the city where I had my post-op appointment and we also took Easton to the aquarium, which was really exciting. So it's been a really big day. My body is definitely feeling it at the moment. <laughs> I've taken um, some of my medications and I'm just going to relax now. Blake has taken Easton out for the afternoon so I can rest because... Yeah, that ovulation pain is definitely <laughs> kicking in. So I'm just gonna relax for the rest of the afternoon. But my post-op appointment went so well. I was so incredibly happy. I'm gonna share in a separate video pretty much 
everything about my surgeon, exactly what was found in the procedure, what procedure was done, um, and all that sort of get into detail information in a separate video. It was honestly so nice to see my surgeon. He's just the sweetest. We spoke about so many things and of course now Blake and I do need to think about trying to conceive baby number two as well. So our fertility journey will be going through my new surgeon and fingers crossed, hopefully if we manage to fall pregnant and are able to have a second baby, my new surgeon will deliver. <laughs> <laughs> the second baby fingers crossed we are staying really hopeful and trying to stay positive we know it's going to be such a huge road but yeah we're not starting to conceive just yet but hopefully soon the pain is definitely intensifying it's currently seven so thank god i am due <laughs> Or I can have more medication now because things are getting bad. <laughs> I have just popped my aura on as well, which is good. Also, I'm wearing period undies <laughs> because um, with my ovulation, my discharge has, I've had a lot of discharge, healthy, normal discharge, but just a lot of it. So I feel like yeah, I've needed to wear period undies, this ovulation, which I've actually liked because I don't have that feeling like of weed my pants. <laughs> so yeah, tip. If you have a lot of vaginal discharge during ovulation, period undies are the way to go. Guys, I just drove for the first time. Wow, it feels good to drive again. Um, it was a little bit tender, to be honest, which I wasn't expecting. But yeah, it's weird. I did used to have um, pain when driving before. So not every time, but I did go through stages where I was in pain whilst driving and I couldn't drive. So people would have to drive me around. It was a bit tender, but then the more I drove, the better it got. So it might've just been the first initial shock to the body, like what's happening. So drove for the first time and I'm about to go to work. I'm excited. I'm very excited. So I'm going to go do that and I'll let you know how it goes. I'm going to take it easy. I'm not going to be doing too much. Lucky I do somewhat of an admin job so I can just sit down most of the time. I've got my TENS machine. I've got a week pack just in case as well and all my pain medication. So I'm stocked up, ready to go. Guys, look at my desk. I've got a welcome back note on my computer. Some people at work call me budgie. <laughs> I've also got this beautiful box from Sam. How beautiful. And then some lovely flowers. Oh. I survived my first shift back at work. It was such a great shift. And look at my beautiful gifts so exciting i was honestly so taken back by the gifts i wasn't expecting it i work with such amazing supportive people so yeah survived feeling good feeling really good today actually it's my dad's birthday so i've just quickly ducked into the shops to get him a present and now we'll go home and surprise him with that and we don't really have much planned for today to be honest i'll just see how i'm feeling because yeah yesterday during the day i felt amazing and then come afternoon i kind of crashed and was in a bit of pain so maybe just take it easy hello guys i thought i would quickly give an update while i have not very long but i have a bit of time so this weekend has not gone to plan well actually it's currently monday but yesterday which was Sunday, I was meant to go to the Health and Wellness Expo and that did not end up happening. We ended up taking Easton to the doctor on Saturday and then he still wasn't better on the Sunday. So we ended up taking him to Westmead Children's Hospital and we spent all day there. Today I was meant to go to work and, <laughs> and Easton still isn't good and we don't really have any answers at the moment um so yeah took the day off work today and just trying to figure out what is going on with Easton he has a lot of appointments coming up we're trying to figure out what's going on as well as an update on his kidneys um I haven't really updated people on his kidneys I don't think on my YouTube but I do have some info on it on my Instagram on my endometriosis one it's just been a hell of a few days whilst trying to 
still recover and I'm in my recovery stage. So I will give some more further details um, and updates later on, but I just thought I'd quickly fill you guys in yeah. now. But yeah, trying to juggle the recovery and taking care of Easton has been difficult. And obviously all the stress is just making my pain so much worse. Hello guys, and welcome back to the worst vlog in the world. <laughs> I have been forgetting to vlog and there's so much to update you on. So let's take you back to Saturday when Easton first started experiencing these weird symptoms. So I went to work on Saturday, my first shift back, and then I got home and Easton was walking so bizarre. Easton's foot was almost fully inverted in. So if this is how he's walking with two feet, it completely turned in. We weren't sure if it was coming from like his hip, his knee or his foot. So we took him to the GP and she pretty much said, he's, he doesn't look like to be in pain, which he doesn't. And we weren't really sure where to go from here because he didn't have a fever or anything, but it was very unusual for him to be walking and running and doing everything like this. So it was his right foot. So her advice was if he starts to limp at all or like drag his foot more then to take him straight to hospital. So on Sunday, we expected him to kind of wake up and be better or we're not sure. He was jumping on the trampoline on Saturday morning. So we thought maybe he had hurt himself somehow, but we weren't, we were so confused and we had no idea what was going on. And obviously the doctor didn't either. So we ended up taking him to the children's hospital all day on Sunday. They ran x-rays, nothing seems to be broken and there doesn't seem to be any visible signs of joint disease. But obviously this needs to be further investigated because it still hasn't resolved. Trying to get in to see an orthopedic surgeon is just a ridiculous wait time. I know the hospitals are banked up with so much things going on and we weren't meant to be seen as an outpatient, but even then I can't even get an appointment for outpatients. So as a mother, I'm like just at a loss. But yeah, just a quick little update on what's been happening with Easton and in our lives in terms of parenthood. I've really enjoyed being back at work. It feels great to get back into the swing of things. I know a lot of people, they always ask, what do you do for work? How do you manage work? And to be honest, I just need to see where I'm at in life in terms of how to manage work and endometriosis. I have spent a lot of years not working, to be honest. Um, I took a good two years off after having Easton because my symptoms were just progressively getting more and more and more severe. So. I physically felt like I couldn't maintain a job. And if you're new here, I do have a history of losing my job due to endometriosis or due to being sick and in pain and in hospital and getting procedures done all the time. So I do have that back history. So there is still a bit of anxiety and nerves around telling work, hey, I can't come in. Um, but my workplace is so incredibly supportive. So I know it's a me thing that I need to go through and I need to work and deal with, but yeah, my work is incredible. So I am in a somewhat admin low, I wouldn't say low paced, but I am in like a lower impact job at the moment, which is really working for me. I've done retail. I've been a dance teacher for 11 years. So I've done high impact jobs. Um, and yeah, this is just what I find works best for me. So I do work in the health and fitness industry and I am in charge of um, social media, marketing, sales and things like that. So that's a little insight or background as to what I'm doing at the moment, which is really working for me and something that I have really noticed a difference in as well. And this is kind of my first time doing shifts like this, I guess. I'm spreading my shifts out so I don't do big eight hour days. I think my longest shift is a six hour shift, but I spread them out. So I will do four hours in a day, another four hours the next day, or like five hours and six, then four, depending on where I'm at. But I do do around 25 hours a week. And that's what I find that I can manage anymore. I don't know if I could. And that's obviously time will tell moving forward in the future. 
in terms of what I'm able to do now, but going back to before my surgery, there was no way I could physically work more than that because of my pain, my symptoms, and as well as trying to juggle this with mum life, Eastern has had a lot of health conditions throughout, so I need to prioritize Eastern as well. Um, but yeah, that's just a quick little insight, but hot tip, that is how I find I'm able to maintain a job. So low impact, admin's been great for me, like behind a desk, um, and also just spreading shifts out with smaller blocks so that, yeah, if I'm in pain, I know I've only got a little bit left to go, then I can go home and rest. So yeah, that's been what's worked best for me. And that's really all the updates for now. I will speak to you guys soon. Hello guys and happy, I have no idea what day it is. <laughs> anyway, today we have a pediatrician appointment for Easton. Thank goodness. So we're going to go sort some things out. He was diagnosed with a heart murmur not long ago. So we need to go get that checked as well as figure out what is going on with this inverted foot, hip, knee. I don't know where it's coming from situation. So I'm really excited that we finally got an appointment. It's just a pediatrician. And then he's also booked in for an orthopedic surgeon in a week or so. So thank goodness but we're still getting in the right direction. It has improved a little bit, which is promising, but still not a normal Eastern and still need to get to the bottom of it. So that's on the cards. I'm going to get my nails done this afternoon as well. We have my nephew's second birthday party this weekend, which is exciting. So we need to go and get him a present. So we're gonna do that. What else is on the cards for this weekend? I'm working tomorrow morning and then we have dinner with our best friends in the night time. Obviously it's dinner time. So I've got a few things coming up and just gonna see how my pain goes. Oh, your muscles. Oh, your muscles. Oh, my yeah. goodness me. Finished nails. I love them. And now we're in glasses. Okay, first look. Not really vibing. I don't know. I like the blazer. Okay, second look. It's this pink top. I don't like this pink top. This blazer's nice. The pants, I really don't know. Okay, I'm in seed and these shorts these are the kind of shorts i recommend for those with endo belly because see this at the back it gives so much room though it's nice and tailored at the front with the zipper look how much room that it gives right so obviously if we get bloated unannounced <laughs> it will stretch with us so I love these style shorts. The shorts I have on at the moment, actually, they're from H&M and they're the same sort of style, that stretchy waistband. But these have that little bit more, I don't know, classy look, I guess. Hello guys, I have been the worst vlogger in the whole wide world this week. Wow, what's happened? We went to dinner with our friends last night, which was lovely. Forgot to get any of that. <laughs> and now we are off to our nephew's second birthday party, which we're excited for. So we're going to that. Easton, are you excited for Kai's birthday? Yeah. Yeah. So we're on the way to that now. <laughs> but it's been a really good week. Um, Eastern's pediatrician appointment went amazing. I forgot to fill you guys in on that. So we've had really bad luck with some specialists and pediatricians in the past with Eastern. So it was really nice to finally find one that listened to us, validated all our feelings and was very thorough. And 
and yeah didn't like underlook anything so she was amazing and of course for someone like myself and Blake who have been through a lot of medical trauma in terms of with the birth of Easton when Easton has had a lot of health conditions as well and then also myself with endometriosis we've been through a lot we've been gaslit a lot so to have a pediatrician that really listened to us and validated all our feelings was incredible so please do not settle for anything less you deserve proper medical treatment and so does your family so i highly advocate to keep finding the right pediatrician specialist gp anything it may be for you and your family Bigger, bigger. <laughs> Hello guys, I just wanted to close this vlog out. It's been a bit of an everywhere kind of vlog and I swear it's been a little bit longer than a week in that vlog. It's just snippets of my life, I should call this. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to close it out. The last snippets that you would have seen in the vlog were my son at our nephew's birthday party, and also a big pile of dirt, which that big pile of dirt is our pile of dirt. <laughs> we went to see where our land was at. So we are set to register in April, fingers crossed. It's actually well underway. It looks like so much has been done, which is so exciting. That's the most we've seen of how much they've done. So we were very excited. So that's what that was. But that is all for now. I will see you all in my next video. Mwah! I hope you're all having a pain-free day. Mm -hmm.